Well, okay, everybody, this is Eric with American Business Systems. Good to have everybody that's piling on into the webinar. I see people just now coming in. We've got uh, an hour to try to get through a lot of information today. Uh, as you know, that uh, obviously there's only this webinar and one more for the rest of this year. I thought what we could do today is for you to hear from a uh, what I would con consider to be a very successful ABS business owner, uh, Jeff Bruner. I'm going to interview him today. This is going to be a great time for those that are here live today to be able to ask your questions. So folks, get ready. I'm going to show you where the question and answer box is so that you can start asking myself and Jeff some questions here. You're going to really, really enjoy today's webinar. And uh, obviously, Anytime we get to do an interview with uh, with somebody who's been around for a little bit, you kind of get to hear their story because when Jeff and I were talking right before we got started today, you know, I said, you remember whenever you sat on the other side, you know, not being interviewed, but probably listening to somebody being interviewed. Uh, I said, you remember those days. So, you know, there are going to be folks on here just like you today uh, to kind of go through the same thing. So we're going to talk about his experience, how he got started with American Business Systems and what he's doing today. So I think this is going to be really, really a great webinar because you're going to kind of get to a little bit of two worlds, not only Jeff's world of how he got started, but some great things that he's doing now with some new business owners. And he's going to share with you some probably some great successes of some of the new business owners, because obviously you're here today trying to figure out, do I want to get this business started? And if I do, how do I get my first client? So we're going to answer some of those questions for you today. So again, today is an interview with Jeff Bruner. Uh, so folks, if you wouldn't mind, real quickly, I'm going to go through some of these slides fairly fast, uh, the opening slides at least, because I'm going to get to our interview with Jeff. But if you wouldn't mind just typing in, finding that Q&A box, typing something in there so that you can just at least tell me where you're located. Uh, and that way, you know where to type in your questions and I get to hear from you, the, those are that are on here today. So feel free to start doing that. Again, my name's Eric OJ. I'll be your host this afternoon. And again, I'm going to bring Jeff here on just a moment. We've got some folks here from Texas. Uh, Asher's from Chicago. We've got Deborah from New York. See, we got folks all over the place. Keep on, folks. Y'all can keep putting that in here. And while I do that, I'm going to let you know that we are just about two weeks away from celebrating 30 years here at American Business Systems. I am proud to be able to say I was here at least halfway through all of that. So uh, I, I was telling Jeff just a moment ago, I said, I'm about to celebrate 17 years with being associated with American Business Systems. So let me tell you a little bit about their history. It started 30 over 30 years ago when uh, Patrick and Linda had a couple of small kiddos, like as you see here, that first big guy there in the middle, that's Adam. I'll talk to you a little bit about Adam and his little sister there, Sarah. Uh, but this was the Phillips family. This is when it would all kind of began. Uh, and that uh, during about this same time, Linda was actually asked to, to help somebody who had a, what's called a durable medical equipment company. This is where you get hospital beds and wheelchairs and rollators and all those other things that are, are what's called durable medical equipment. And he needed someone to do their billing. And he asked Linda, he says, hey, I've got my billers gone. I need somebody. I know you guys. Do you mind doing this for us? And then what happened is, is that Patrick, just being the guy, the kind of guy he is, he said, wow, let me we're, we've gotten a couple of new doctors ourselves. Now, we know we can't bill for everybody, but this looks like a pretty good business opportunity that we could start to share with others because that's what happened. It was, he was starting to teach some friends and some families and they started having some success and that's how ABS began. And now that uh, is uh, recently, Patrick has kind of stepped aside and turned the role over to Adam. And that little guy that was in the middle is now our CEO of American Business Systems. And he is just followed in his dad's footsteps of writing some books. Uh, I've touched on this in the past that he's written the book, Nine Ways Doctors Let Money Slip Through Their Fingers. He co-wrote that with Dr. Vicki Ratner. He's writing some articles for a magazine called the Building and Coding Advantage magazine. And he's also the founder of an organization called MRMA. Now, MRMA is the Medical Revenue Management Association of America. You automatically are a part of a, uh, MRMA as soon as you get through with your training. Because after you get through with training, it is MRMA who actually certifies you as a certified medical revenue manager. And that's your that's your credential, CMRM. That's you get to put that behind your name on your business card, all your marketing materials. 
so folks, this and, and then whenever you go to the doctors and they're, they're so who are you associated with? You can say I'm associated with Murma, and that's you can share share with them Murma.org. They get to go out there and visit that, and so it's a very reputable uh, group there. Now, what makes ABS different besides just the training and the support that you get here? It's the iClaim EMRX platform, which is generated and maintained by NextGen. NextGen Health uh, Healthcare has been around for a long time, as most probably you might already know. But but what's so so unique about this is that they are the ones that help us make sure that you have everything that you need, including whenever it's time for you to display and show your doctors how this uh, the platform works, either they or one of our support members here at American Business Systems will do a demo for you. Plus, we have all the different services. We're going to, Jeff and I are going to touch on those just very, very briefly as we kind of go through the presentation. But without any further ado, I'm going to ask Jeff to pop on on here and uh, get ready to interview, have an interview. Jeff, it's good to see you. And uh, tell us where you're calling in from today. Hi, Eric uh, and everyone. Hi, um, I'm calling in from Northern Michigan, Traverse City, Michigan. Uh, we're, for those of you who are familiar with it, uh, that's one thing you always carry around a map with you if you live in Michigan. We're right here. Um, Detroit's <laughs> down here, we're up here. So we're about four hours uh, northwest of Detroit. Uh, we've got snow on the ground, it's about 25 degrees. So. Oh, my warm. goodness. So you guys will have a white Christmas, not down here in Texas. We're, it looks like mm. we may have a, a wet Christmas. It looks like it's going to be here. I saw the weather is going to be 70 degrees on sa Sunday. Ooh, in Texas, golly. Yeah, no, we're not, not here, unfortunately. We, we may actually have a, a green Christmas. It's it's relatively warm. We're going to be relatively warm here shortly. So, so we'll find out yeah. either way. <laughs> well, I've got uh, a good group of folks on here today, and I'm excited that we're all here. And I, Jeff, I, I, I want to give everybody an opportunity. So I want to remind everybody, I've got your question and answer box open over here. So if you've got questions that you want to specifically ask Jeff, I want you to put those in here and I'll be monitoring that. Um, and I've got, uh, again, I'm going to go through some of these. I'm going to close some of these out. So, uh, Shiraz, I see that you're from here in the Dallas area and Asher's from Chicago, Deborah's from New York. Uh, James is from Oklahoma City. I know James very well. And then Cherie's from uh, Missouri there. Uh, there's some other folks here. So if you're more than welcome to type in some stuff there. Uh, let's see. I, I, I've got one here. I plan to take the certification on medical billing and coding. That's 11 month duration. Do you think I can start this business without going through that certification? Okay. So great. I'm going to answer. I'm going to, my first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this question. I kind of just stumbled my way through it. But first of all, Jeff, tell us about your story here at American Business Systems. What did you do before ABS? Why did you get involved with ABS? And obviously, how long you've been around because obviously you've been around more than a year. Mm -hmm. So kind of tell us some of your success here. So let's start at the beginning. What were you doing before ABS? Well, prior to ABS, and by the way, I'm not, I was not when I joined uh, or affiliated with ABS, I was not a licensed biller or a coder. I don't think it's necessary, but um, what I was doing, uh, I was actually in pharmaceutical sales for just short of 30 years. Um, wow. Uh, so I was, I was really, you know, really familiar and comfortable with talking with uh, physicians and, 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 you know, providers in general. I had, I had zero knowledge of, of billing. Um, it just, I didn't know a thing about billing or, or any of the other ancillary uh, products there. Um, but what happened back in 2017, I guess it would be, um, is that uh, we had a chance to take an early buyout. Uh, I don't know if you call it a layoff or a buyout, but mm -hmm. in my case, they they, <laughs> they, they offered a, a, a nice severance package and they said, who wants to leave? And I raised my hand and I said, I'll leave. They're fine with me. So, so um, that, that worked out really well. Um, and because I was still at the time young enough uh, where I you know, didn't want to sit around and do nothing, I, I started researching uh, franchises and and other opportunities. And, and I, I don't consider ABS a franchise at all um, right. uh, because I've not paid one dime above you know the, the uh, licensing fee um, to right. ABS. I, I just I just haven't. Um, but I looked at lots of different different franchises. I knew that um, kind of in the course of the research that I, I did not want to uh, have a brick and mortar place. I did not want to have to go somewhere you know between eight and and six or you know nine and five or whatever. I didn't want to have that. I wanted something that was flexible, um, 
you know, something I could do from anywhere, really, uh, uh, which I do, by the way, I can, I can tell you about that as well, if you want. Um, but uh, and, and something that, you know, you could run from home and that I'm sure. talking to talking to you from my uh, world headquarters in, in the corner of my bedroom here. So <laughs> uh, it, it's it's not fancy, but it, it works really, really well. And and, and it's been um, it's been a really good opportunity. Uh, so it, you've been you've been associated with ABS now as a business owner slash licensee for how many years now? Uh, about six and a half. Six, six and a half, half years. years yeah. mm -hmm. So six no, years. no building experience in the past. You've been in medicine to or healthcare to some degree because you were in pharmaceutical sales. Um, so that kind of goes with the questions from Shiraz is the, he, he was saying that he's planning on to take a, uh, a diploma slash certification on medical billing and coding that's 11 months duration. Do you think I need to start this business without going into that certification? So what, what, what would you say to that, Jeff? I would say, you know, I mean, if it's something, uh, Shiraz, that you, you want to do, that's okay. Um, you, you definitely do not need to do that um, to to start an ABS business. Um, you just don't. Uh, I, again, I had zero billing. And that, that honestly was my um, my concern, my main concern, um, was, you know, learning billing and learning all that I need to, to do to, you know, to run a successful business. But um, that ended up being the best part of ABS is, is, you know, th there's a support department and, and uh, you have lifetime support. So if there's any questions that anyone has at any point during their, their ownership, um, they can just pick up the phone or, you know, get in front of their keyboard and contact support and, and, um, you know, support will get back with you with the answer. There, there's, there's a whole, you know, group of experts in different aspects of, of billing and running businesses that uh, are available to you. So um, to your question, I would say, uh, again, if it's something that you want to do personally, um, go for it. Uh, but you, you definitely do not need uh, a certification to run this business. There, yeah, there you go. I, I, and I, you know, that's, that's what's so important for everybody to understand because you, I think what happens, and I think this probably may have happened to you. It, it, it certainly happens to a lot of folks that uh, you think that, gosh, if I'm going to get into medical billing, I probably ought to know something about medical billing. So I probably ought to take a course or a class or something else like that before I kind of get started with this business. But if, if what people can understand here is that this is a business that you're you're the owner of a business. And so the 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 30 years that you have with American business systems, uh, there's not a, a, a claim or a code or something that has not been asked before for for, you know, knowing that information. So this is what you're this is what you're getting into is that ABS is your support team. So think about that you're just you're just starting and you want to get that business up and going. So folks, this is you can do it and you can do it without billing certification or cert, you know, um uh coding certification or anything else like that. It's not necessary. It sometimes it can be it can be beneficial but it's not necessary. So that's the way I like to put it. Uh, Ryan's also calling in from uh, Southwest Florida. So we got folks really almost coast to coast here. So Shiraz says, thanks. Is there any in, in initial investment or you guys will guide us and provide us support to how to enter? And that's the procedure and system to do this medical billing and coding. Yeah, so there is an initial investment. Let me kind of share with everybody here uh, a little bit about ABS. If you haven't been to our website, you can go to our website there. This is a, just a quick snapshot of that. Uh, when you get there, I'd encourage you to do something real quickly. If you see up in that right-hand corner over there, it says download our five secrets to, to success. You can get a copy of that. But for those right now, now I've been told uh, that uh, the pricing is supposed to go up after the first of the year. Folks, I still haven't heard that. So you're still within the the striking of uh, the investment here of twenty eight thousand nine ninety. It's a one time fee. And Jeff, you said uh, that ABS is not a franchise, so therefore there are no franchise fees. There's no royalties fee. So, so if you want to kind of take it from there, you mentioned earlier that you haven't paid ABS anything else since your investment, which is took care of your training and, and a lifetime of support. Right. Yeah. No, it's, it's, you know, you have the licensing fee, um, but that's it. I mean, again, if, I guess if you wanted to, you could, you could, you know, I don't know what you'd buy, maybe books or something <laughs> if you wanted, <laughs> if you wanted to, but I, I honestly, there's not anything else that I have paid um, at all. So it, it's yep. been, been good. 
There, there you go. So uh, let's let's kind of go back to your beginning. So whenever you started with us six years ago, that was prior to COVID, uh, because right right before COVID, we were switching from live training in a in a classroom setting where we brought everybody together to a more one on one live online training. And I think you can talk a little bit about both of those because you you probably have a little bit of experience in both of those. First, tell us about how it, how that training was because it was a five day sit down in the classroom. And it was probably like drinking water out of fire hydrant. <laughs> That's funny. That's exactly what it was like. Um, th there, it was uh, five days in Grapevine, Texas. Uh, with the the inside of the hotel meeting room was lovely. I didn't see much else, I guess, because we were right. We were, st <laughs> we were studying, but. Um, but no, seriously, it, it, it was good. It was, it was, uh, 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 you know, really widely, um, there, there's a lot, a lot of topics that, that were covered, put it that way, encompassed, yeah. a, encompassed a wide amount of, of, of different things. Um, lots of time was spent on uh, marketing, you know, how, how to market your business, how to develop your business. Um, some time, interestingly, but not, not as much as I would have guessed, uh, but some time was spent on on how to do billing okay uh, so uh, but and that was that was again one of the the concerns because i again recall that I, I did not have any experience at all in billing um but but again abs uh, not only at the the initial training covered some of that but but the ongoing training after you get right. out there, there's there's you have access to something called a licensee support site um and the support team but that support site's got a lot of information it, it's it's um uh yeah there it is right there um it, it's just anything you can think of uh, that you want to learn about is on that site or can be accessed from that site so yeah, absolutely now I'm going to reveal a little secret about you, uh, and, and, and there's some other questions I'm going to ask you here, but you've been with ABS for six years. You've got clients. Some Somebody's already asked the question, how did you get your first client? So we're going to answer that in just a second. But but now that you've been a part of ABS, you've, you've gotten some clients. You've got a new role here that I think you just started this just this year with ABS. Is that correct? Well, the... the um apparently liked what I was doing. Um, I built my business, you know, by myself. I did the marketing myself, the client relations. I did uh, the billing by myself for, for a long time. And, and um, so I had a pretty, pretty good knowledge. I would like to think about um, kind of what goes into to building a business and, and making it run successfully. Uh, and maybe for that reason, they brought me into the support department. So I'm, I'm part of the support team. Um, I, I really, you know, as you can tell, I got Plenty of gray hair here, so I I, I uh, enjoy helping uh, new licensees develop their their business. I, I'm not that far removed. I'm six and a half years from getting out of training, um, and then have built the business you know over over time. And I've got you know 14 clients right now, and and uh, it's it's zooming along pretty well. Um, but but they they liked what I was doing, and and um, brought me in, and it's been great. I, I get to get to you know help people hopefully, and and uh, you know do some good. No, that's, no, that's been, haven't been through all that. So that's awesome. So we're going to go to James's question here. Uh, he says, Jeff, how did you get your first client and did you get referrals? So let's go, let's just start there. How did you get your first client? Yeah. So that's a great question, actually. Um, uh, they, I, I, my first client, I got about two months and one week after I finished training. And what, I, what again, what, one thing that, that, um, ABS will do in the training is, is, teach you all different i mean a whole great big laundry list full of different ways to market your business um there's lots of different ways i mean and what, what i chose i you know I, I looked at the different ways that we learned about and I, I go okay i can do that and that and that so i picked two or three different methods um the one that i uh, found most successful and i'm a big proponent of is something called direct contact marketing and that's just a fancy name for getting out and you know dropping off information at offices, introducing yourself. Um, and, and what happens is that if you, and not, not necessarily selling anything, I, I didn't really sell anything. I just, you know, introduced my, my business and, and, you know, the, made it so they could put a name with a face and left information on what we can do and 
you know, continued. I, I just I would go around and, and do that on a real regular basis. And then after not very long, I started to get phone calls and they would say, mm -hmm. Jeff, you know, I'd get a phone call and they'd say, Jeff, I noticed that you, you know, dropped off some information. Um, we, we are having problems with our billing company. Can you come in and talk to us? And all of a sudden I'm in front of a prospective client. So, so to me, that method is the, the fastest way to build a business. Um, but it's not the only way. I mean, they're, they're again, they, uh, the, the company ABS and training teaches you lots of different ways, uh, uh, to to find clients and to um, you know build your business, um, it, it, that worked for me. But if people aren't you know quite as excited about doing something like that, they, there's other methods like um, oh going to networking meetings or mm -hmm. or um, you know developing your 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 website. To, to, so you know uh, search engine optimization is is a key part of it. You know that, that type of a thing. So th again, there's lots lots of different things that um, you learn. Uh, but but to your original question, um, that's how I got my first client. That's actually how I got my first three clients. Um, the first one okay. I got about uh, about um, two months and a week after training. The next client came about a month after that, and then my third client came about three months after that. So, and all were as a result of direct contact marketing. Um, after that, um, what you'll find or what I found is that if you do a good job for those clients, they have all sorts of friends who are in the same business. Yeah. Um, people that they've been to medical school or nurse practitioner school or physical therapy school with. And, and uh, again, if you do a good job, um, you get referrals. So, so really I, um, uh, that that's how I got my first three clients. The other 11 were all by referrals. So that's where I'm that's, at. Right that is, that's congratulations on that. I know that, um, you know, that that's and and to hear that you get at least three clients in your first year. Now um, I'm going to ask a question here because somebody's asked, you know, about, you know, how much can you expect of income on a monthly basis? But one of the things I, I like to talk about here is the investment that you make, and then how quickly you can get the return on your investment. So you don't have to share details, but would you say within the first year of being in business that you had your return on investment with your three um, clients there? Oh yeah, for sure. I, I know <laughs> it's funny because I know exactly when it was um, and I'll tell you exactly how it happened too. Um, it was, I, I got my return on investment in six months and, okay. and, 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 <laughs> And how I did uh, six months after signing that first client, by the way. So, so yeah, I guess yeah. eight months, I guess. So, um, what what happened was that uh, uh, you know I had had a chance to uh, to to sign this client and and a real you know decent volume. It wasn't wasn't huge, but a, a good enough volume. And I I at the same time happened to have on my desk a one of these Bank of America you know zero percent uh, check type things where if you sign yeah, a check yeah. you get a, you get a certain amount and you know if you pay it off in you know uh, twelve months they, they don't charge you anything so I thought yeah you know what we got money in the bank we but I can pay for it at any time but I thought let, let's let, just for fun let's give this a try so I wrote a check uh, you know that was my initial fee to ABS yeah and then I, then I went out looking for clients and and uh, just the revenue from that first client or actually first two clients alone. And within six months uh, after training, I had, I had paid off my, you know, licensing fee. That's um, beautiful. So, and it is, a, you know, it's a function of, um, it really, you know, if you think about it, it's a function of the volume of the, the practices that you uh, sure. si sign. But, um, um, you know, it, 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 the, for me, the return on investment was really uh, fairly quick. Yeah. I, I, I try to, I try to be conservative that, you know, if, you know, if you had one or two clients in your first year, you'll probably get your return on investment. But that's one thing for me to say it. It's another thing if they hear somebody like yourself go, wow, he really did it. And he did it within six months. So, so the, um, the, the, the volume is obviously going to be there. Kind of tell us what kind of doctors or, you know, medical businesses are you doing some billing for? So mm -hmm. I'm sure you might have a little bit of variety. I do. I do. I've got a, a variety. I've got, um, Oh, internal medicine, physicians, family practitioners, um, endocrinology, physical therapy, uh, a nurse practitioner, uh, just signed two behavioral health specialists. Um, okay. And a lab. We're doing work for a lab. So there's, uh, you know, kind of a, a, a wide variety. Uh, that we've Great. Signed. Uh, Deborah's here. Uh, she's asking, she goes, I've had, I've got 17 years of experience in uh, DME. Folks, again, if you don't know what that is, that's durable medical equipment. 
uh, doing billing and coding for that. She goes, I just got hired as an office manager, but I want to start my own DME billing company. I need to know how to get the clients. Uh, Deborah, I, I'm going to first tell you is that you don't have to be uh, just DME. Uh, as you just hear heard from Jeff, you can have different types of healthcare clients. It could be um, behavioral health. It could be NDME. It could be physical therapy. He just said that he, do, he does some uh, uh, billing for a lab or internal medicine. So folks, that's that's the beauty about it. You don't have to get locked in on just one type of healthcare billing. There's several different types of healthcare billing that you can actually end up doing. So hopefully that'll help you there uh, as well. Um, okay, so you've got started in billing six years ago. You you have uh, how many clients? You said you have fourteen clients now. Fourteen clients. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that is awesome to hear. Uh, now I'm going to go over here to one of these slides that I've got here, and I'm going to put this up here because again, with your experience of being a business owner now and sort of helping out in support. Um, and I'm going to first address, I think it was Shiraz that asked this about uh, coding and billing. Let's kind of talk about the couple of the services that we have specifically for coding and for that. And that's Audit Guard and CodeWrite. Uh, now, I, I'm sure you've helped some of our other business owners since you've been in support. So tell us a little bit about that, how that's helpful. Did you Have you ever used CodeWrite at all? So let's kind of talk a little bit, a few of these services here real quickly. Yeah, um, so I've actually, actually, interestingly, um, Audit Guard was, was the first product I had talked to an office about. Um, okay. And, and uh, Audit Guard is um, basically, uh, it's a company, a, a third-party company. I, I was hoping we'd talk about this because there's there's lots of ancillary uh, Great. revenue opportunities here uh, with ABS. But Audit Guard, um, there, there's a third-party company that uh, is has nothing but professional coders on their staff i mean they, they've got, that's what they do they they, they you, know, uh, you know look at different charts and and, and in, in the case of audit guard they'll take a chart sample from an office um review it and based on the notes and the the documentation uh and the claims so they'll, they'll they'll return a report that talks about whether they uh, the the providers undercoded overcoded or are you know right on target and and the results of that can really help a practice um uh, maybe avoid an audit. Let, let's mm -hmm. say they're they're consistently overcoding. Let's say, and that that's something that you know they could be audited on, audited on, and um, so that's what Audit Guard can do is it can provide a really good, useful, you know, actionable report that. Um, that uh, you know tells them how they're how they're doing you know uh, I guess overall with their coding, uh, code writes a little bit different. Um, code write would be if you have especially, oh I don't know I'm I'm thinking maybe of like a surgery center where where the claims are really involved mm -hmm. and 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 you know you so often have to develop a claim from um, from notes you know so, uh, notes that are that are dictated in the middle of surgery. <laughs> yeah. So, so so that's where I would. Perhaps bring in code right uh, the code right team. Um, I personally, I've got some knowledge of that, but not the knowledge that you need to to to, to do it properly. But that's okay because we have a, a, a you know a company on board that that does have that knowledge, and we can farm that out to uh, to this particular company. So, so okay. yeah, those are those are both good products. Here. All all these are. I mean, uh, uh, you know, AutoCard is is one. Uh, um, I, I guess Compliancy Guard is another one that I've had uh, some success with as well. Yeah, let's talk about Compliancy Guard because I I, I like that one. Uh, and That's I'll tell one. you one of the, especially right now, we know that we're switching years, and every year the doctors have to update all of their HIPAA rules and uh, compliancy forms and make sure they get their staff retrained in HIPAA compliancy. And so, folks, this was if you're looking to get your kind of what you would call foot in the door uh, right after the first of the year. Um, one of the one of the things that I would be doing, I'd be doing something similar to what Jeff has talked about, kind of going to the doctor's offices and, and sharing, you know, that you're out there. But again, one of the people that I would be asking to talk to is their their compliance officer. And the responses that you get with that, I mean, Jeff, I don't know if you ever tried it that way, but uh, whenever I started 
uh, because I've had two medical billing companies. And one of the ways I built the second one was using compliance guard. I would walk in the doctor's office and say, hey, my name is Eric. I'm with such and such company. I'm here to talk with your HIPAA compliance officer. And you would have thought I was with the FBI. It was almost like the whole office went, whoa, what's this guy doing here? <laughs> uh, uh, and, but I got somebody's attention. And typically, it was the office manager. And I would tell him or her and just, just simply to say, hey, I'm with, I, I have a revenue cycle management company. And I know here in the beginning of the year, you're trying to get all of your HIPAA rules, your everything redone here at the end of the, you know, finishing out this year. And I'd like to see what I can do to help you with that. I've got some questions I'd love to set up some time. And typically, Jeff, I would always end up getting, um, you know, a an appointment. Yep. That's, that was the beauty about doing, using, utilizing these services. Yeah, I, I totally agree. That's exactly how I've used it as well. Um, and, and compliance guard is easy. It, it's an easy, yeah. easy product to to talk about. Um, it, everyone needs it. It's not you know, yes. especially especially larger offices as well. Um, yes. But but yeah, what, what you mentioned, Eric, is exactly how my experience. Um, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, you everyone needs HIPAA compliance training every single year. So um, you what what you do uh, very simply um, is we have this partner company that that you know uh, does or provides compliance guard uh, as, as a product. All we do is we connect the office with this company and yeah. the, they do the work, they sign up the client, um, they, they do all the training uh, and we get a, a percentage of, yeah. their, of their revenue. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So, and, yeah. and it gets your foot in the door. You, you get engaged and, and a lot of, yeah. a lot of, a lot of doctors are not sure about, you know, changing, but you know, there's a lot of things changing right now, folks in healthcare. I always kind of look at the end of the year, the beginning of the years is, is some great opportunities. This, and, and I say, this is, it's not a small window. This is a window that's going to be here at least for the next quarter. So this is, you're talking about, gosh, the next 90, plus days of uh, possibly getting your first client. And really folks, this is really what you need. You need to get your first client because once you get your first client, you start doing really well with that first client. As Jeff said, you know, your referrals start coming in from there. So that's really good. Before we leave this one, I know that you and I talked about something that's near and dear to my heart because I've, I've actually had some experience with it, with uh, being a caretaker with my in-laws at one time, but this is the whole part about what's called virtual care, remote patient monitoring. You said that one of your clients that you're working with, you're to set them up on what's called remote patient monitoring or RPM. Tell us a little bit about that, and 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 you know what's what? How is that going to help the doctor's office and the patients? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it, it's I'm I'm a huge fan of virtual care as well. Um, and today mm -hmm. today we um. Uh, signed our first virtual care client um awesome um which is fantastic i'm, I'm super excited about it um, <laughs> so, so there's uh, when i talked to, uh, it's real fresh in my mind so I've, i'll try not to blabber too much about this but i'm 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 a big proponent of it. Um, so virtual care, there's there's either remote patient monitoring or chronic care management and, and some other you know uh, you know intricacies within that. But but in general, remote patient monitoring would be for patients who have chronic conditions. Um, maybe they're you know have elevated blood pressure or or you know they're diabetic or something like that. Mm -hmm. And and what what this partner company does is it will it will you know enroll patients from the the physician's practice, um, send them you know, uh, devices like blood pressure cuffs or scales or that type of thing. There's no cost to the doctor's office, but um, based on how many times they contact the, the, the uh, patient and, and follow up and pr provide, you know, monitoring services um, based on that at the end of each month, uh, the office can then bill Medicare for the services provided by this company. Yeah. And, and, um, so from a patient standpoint, the patients love it because they all of a sudden are, are getting extra attention from their doctor's office. You know, it, really, it's an extension of, of the providers there. So they're getting getting um, uh, extra attention from their doctor's office, and, and they like that. Um, they, they feel that their provider, you know, cares for them and, and is concerned. And the doctors like it because they can be alerted to any um, outline readings. So, for example, let's say someone has a spike in blood pressure. Um, right. th this company will be on the phone with that, and, and, and or they'll, they'll have the readings there. And if they notice that, they will notify the doctor and the doctor can, or the provider, and they can say, you know, uh, Mrs. Johnson, you need to come in and we need to check your blood pressure and, and, and talk about your medications or something like that. So, so there's, it, it, it um, 
increases you know, the the value to the patient it helps the providers because and and uh, because it keeps you know keeps their uh, i guess presence if you will or their kind of keep, kind of keeps yeah. it in the for, forefront of their, their patient's mind and medicare likes it because it keeps patients in general out of the hospital all else equal i mean they, they'd, they'd much rather have much rather pay for for this type of a service as opposed to having to pay for a you know er visit and a hospitalization so so that's kind of the 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 reason for virtual care remote patient monitoring chronic care management you know that that type of thing um and uh it, it's great i mean it really i think probably got its you know uh, jet fuel if you will with with covid and now it it, it, it's it's continuing and and i i think i mean you, you could build uh, uh, you could build a business on on virtual care you could build an entire business no doubt. on it no. um so i I, I'm, I, I, I actually I'm, remember when when we were i i came across this and I shared it with Patrick and Adam and Patrick and I started looking at it and, and he says, Eric, I said, he says, this could be its own business opportunity. I said, I know it can, I said, it, it could be its own business opportunity. He says, but let's put it, let's put it with the everything else. Let's, let's not do it. Let's not do a separate thing. Let's just put it with everything else. And folks, if you, if you're looking at any other business opportunity out there in healthcare or in medical billing, I can promise you they don't have the services that that ABS has and will continue to keep adding services. Uh, these are the the what we would call the majority of them. There's some ancillary services we don't even have up here that uh, whether it's credentialing or, or uh, some of the other things that we have up here. Folks, we're always adding new services. So even when Jeff came in, uh, back six years ago, when we brought on these new services that he's that we've had since he's been on, he hasn't had to pay extra for that. These these are all kind of you think of it, you kind of get grandfathered into everything. So, folks, there's there's never a time where ABS comes back and says, "Hey, we've got a new product out here. We need a little extra money from you." ABS is not in the business to keep making money from you from there. So let me answer that quickly because people want to probably know, well, how does ABS keep going? And they must be selling a lot of licenses or business opportunities. And really what we, each one of these, and Jeff has alluded to a little bit, that each one of these is a is a technology partner here with American Business Systems. And when whenever you're bringing new business to those folks there, then it's those third-party companies that actually pays ABS a little, what's called a finder's fee, if you want to call it that way. And that keeps ABS going on the back end for, so that we can continue to keep giving you support, uh, lifetime support, and never having to ask it from you. So we bring businesses together, and then we kind of, on the back end, since we're bringing them more business, then they, like Code Right or Compliancy Guard, pays ABS a little bit on the back end to, to kind of help come, keep things going here. So that's how your support keeps going. That's how ABS keeps going. And uh, and, and, and again, there's there's no money that you're paying back to ABS. And there is not a like a pyramid scheme or anything else like that. It's truly just if Jeff needs to use a service like that with one of his companies, he just goes to them and says, hey, this is what I need. And, and then... Um, that's what happens here. So this this really really works very very well with that. Um, uh, yeah, go say, ahead, Jack. Just real quick, Eric. Um, yeah, I, I can attest to what Eric is saying is exactly right. It, it's um, what's you know, billing uh, a little bit about my business is very briefly. Billing is definitely our bread and butter, sure. but th there are so many ancillary opportunities for for different streams of revenue that, that that we you know you just saw on the screen there that it, it's it's really kind of neat i mean it really there's lots of things that we can bring to uh, offices and help their revenue uh help their you know patient care if you will um so it, it's it's great I, I you know there's there's plenty of opportunities for sure you bet there are plenty plenty of opportunities uh I, now i'm going to ask and see if there's any particular there's some questions here folks that you're asking I see them there. I'm going to reserve some of those towards the end uh, because some of those are not really directed to, to to Jeff. So I'm going to kind of try to see if there's any particular questions that are directed to Jeff. I'll ask this one here. Uh, so Shiraj is asking again, uh, is this something that can be done with some flexible time, uh, like after my full-time job? So it looks like he wants to kind of do this a little bit of part-time before he quits his full-time job. So you want to kind of answer that one there? 
Jeff? Yeah, yeah, I would say for sure it, it can be done. I, I know there's lots of, uh, I would say lots. I know I've talked with some licensees who are are doing that. They, they've kept their job and they're building their business, um, you know, uh, either in the evenings uh, or, or you know, maybe if they have a free day during the week, they're doing doing some marketing on that day. So, yes, it, it can be done. Um, ideally, you know, it's, I, I, it worked out great for me. I had, I had time to get out and, and you know, develop my business. And, and I, I wasn't out there all day, every day, but, um, um, but, uh, you know, it, it can be done either way. I mean, I, I certainly, there are lots of people who do exactly what Shiraz is, is talking about, keep, keep their main job and then yeah. build, build this business over time. So. Yeah. I, I remember one of the times when we were still doing, um, the training here in the grapevine area, uh, one of our trainers uh, at one time, and this was several, several years ago, uh, I think way before you, but um, there was a, there was a lady there that that's how she got started. She was part-time. She worked one job. She built her business. She built it so large is that she ended up being one of our live trainers there at that training class. Uh, so this is something that obviously you can do. Now, this is the same kind of with Jeff's, what he's been able to do, he started this, he's got 14 clients now, but he's, he's been so, so successful at it. And now kind of gives back to ABS and helping folks like everybody that's on here, whether it's Asher or Deborah or James or Ryan or Sheree and Shiraz and Barca, and Victoria, any of the folks that I've just kind of named some names here. When you're ready to get started here, don't feel, feel like that, you know, you're going to be left alone. You're going to have, uh, if you recall earlier this year, I did an interview with Tim Warren. He's the, he is the director of, of support, but, uh, you know, now you're hearing from Jeff here who, who's part of support still building his business. Uh, so he's out there marketing, he's doing everything that you would be doing. Uh, and, uh, I think you recently tell, tell you just, you got a couple of new clients about to come on board. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, we just, we signed, uh, four clients in the last month <laughs> four, four new clients so, <laughs> oh my goodness so a couple, what a uh, way to close out the year oh it, it, it's been great it's um uh yeah for, we, you know a couple of behavioral health specialists another nurse practitioner and a uh, urgent care that uh, i think i didn't mention that earlier but an urgent care that uh, uh just came on board so yeah we're, wow you're doing we're, urgent we're, care well, we're 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 going to give it a shot here. I think we can. There you go. We can do some good. So we had. To, I, I actually hired my daughter. She's our one and only employee. Um, but I had <laughs> had to. I, That's had awesome. To. And, and uh, yeah, she's she's working for. She's doing a great job. Um, um, uh, but I'm 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 so serious about this. I'm at the point where I've got to um, think about another employee because we're we're getting really busy put it that way when that's i guess a good problem yeah so talk talk to us about, about how many how many i say so you, what at what point did you feel like was it just you doing the billing was it you and your wife doing the billing yeah no it, it was just me uh just me doing everything i guess and, and uh uh you know i i would say that um because sometimes i get the question about how from you know, licensees how many how many you know clients do you can one person do yeah um it, it, it really it kind of varies well not kind of it does vary based on the volume of course but um i would say to me i'd say probably no, six to six to seven six to eight somewhere in there okay um, you know and then then after that I, I at least in my case i had to i was just overwhelmed uh, um i had to start looking for someone who you know could help and she's right under my own roof here so <laughs> awesome worked out, worked out really well but there, you know there, there's that, that's actually a an easy problem to to uh, solve if you will and and if you, if you think about it there's a whole lot of people who would be um wanting or, and, and willing to to you know have a side gig you know so so if you as a as a business owner you know built your business to that point um to me employees are the the least of your worries i mean yeah um you, you can find someone who who would be willing to to learn the business and and you know do the business and and get a few extra bucks coming in and yeah um, no doubt in this case, though, Julia, my daughter is, is doing a great job. She's doing about now about 90% of the, the claims and getting those all prepared. And then she's branching out into other aspects. So she's doing great, doing really, really well. So many, in a day's time, how many claims do you guys think you do in a, in a, in a week Ooh. or in a day? Let's start with a day. Yeah, a day. Um, hmm, that's a really good question. I would, uh, 
uh several hundred <laughs> I, I, several I, hundred. okay several hundred I, I would say probably golly i don't know that's a that's a tough one i would say <laughs> three three to four hundred maybe a day i don't know wow in, in that range um so quite a few for us yeah because so. i always kind of tell people because everybody always asks well how many because that, that's a great question how many how many doctors can i do billing for before i have to hire somebody and and i tell everybody i said you know it's the volume's got to be there, but once you start doing the billing for a particular doctor, you know, you're going to be dealing with, because the doctors are going to give you the codes, you know, again, folks, you don't have to worry about the codes because that's going to come to you. The diagnosis codes and the procedure codes are coming from the doctor's office anyway. Um, and so once you've got that and you're going to start doing the billing, you know, to actually process a claim, you know, I always say, Jeff, it, it could probably take you two to three minutes to do one claim, but really once you kind of get in the rhythm, man, it, it can go much quicker than that. No doubt. Exactly. Yeah. It just depends on the complexity of the claim. Um, yeah. And, and depends on the client too. I mean, I just, we talked about briefly, very briefly physical therapy um, and without, you know, getting too far in the weeds here. One thing about physical therapy as an example is that the patients come in for a the same thing every single yeah. time. They, they may come in for 12, 12 visits for the same thing, a sore right knee or something. So what you do in that case is that you set up a template that when Mrs. You know, Jones comes in for her sore right knee treatment, you you call up that template. It's 90% filled. And all you do is you make sure that the, you know, the, the diagnosis codes and CPT codes are, are lining up and then you send it on its way. And if I, I mean, yeah. If I spend more than, you know, 30 to 45 seconds on a claim, <laughs> yeah. I'm working too hard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In, in yeah, and if you're going to set up, the, uh, you, you're right. You put the, the correct codes in there and the date of service and boom, off you go. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's awesome. Let's see if I've got any any other questions. Some other of these questions I'm going to still reserve for. So, Victoria, I see your questions. Uh, Shara, I see that you've got a couple of more. Uh, let's let's dive real quickly into the training. Uh, I'm going to go back to this little training slide here. So again, you when you, you came, you went to this big class. Um, right before COVID happened, we were already starting to move to an online training class where it's going to be more one-on-one. -on -one. And instead of five days of training, which you, you had gone to, and it's almost from sun up to sun down. Mm -hmm. um, now we've, we've kind of got it spread out a little bit. It, it it might take some folks four or five days, six or maybe a little bit longer than that, eight or nine days to kind of get through that training. Uh, I know that you're in support. I know that you don't necessarily do the training, but I'm sure you've had some help, some folks kind of get their training set up or whatever. Kind of, kind of talk to us a little bit about how training is now, and and because um, Shiraj is asking, is it is it virtual? What are their times? Um, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so um, it, it is uh, you know virtual or online training, I guess. Uh, and my understanding is that you know you, you can't you can't drag it out for you know weeks and weeks or months and months. Anything right. Like that. But but you can to a degree set the schedule. I mean, you, it's just based on your availability. Um, the the lead trainer who does most of the training, uh, a lady named Cynthia Anderson, is is terrific. She was my trainer, and, and she she made what could have been some really boring information pretty exciting. Pretty interesting <laughs> and so awesome. she, she, she does it does a great job uh and, and not a good a great job uh, in my opinion and um i know that she's had people you know do their training real quickly um if, they, if the time permits uh or others who have kind of spread it out over a you know couple weeks for example or, or you know that range so so there's some flexibility there but, yeah yeah and you're going to get a certification out of it so once you get through that that training class it's instead of you know you flying into texas and sitting up and being in a hotel and all that for five days and uh and uh, but you, you got a little bit of flexibility there uh and you but you still get the same material uh the one of the things i like what cindy does is that you know there's some you know in between those trainings there's a little bit of homework now that people have to do to kind of right. make sure that they're doing it but after you get through with the training folks uh, again you are you're all you're set to go and you all have that certification again i'll put that that certification way it looks like right there and i think um if the picture that i think we got you you and patrick here i think uh it kind of got cropped out there but you're actually holding your certification uh, uh in, in hand there 
That's right. And, yeah. So, and, that, and the other thing I would just add, Eric, to what you mentioned is, um, and I mentioned it briefly before, but uh, that the abslss.com site, the, the yeah. ABS licensee support site is, is an ex, in my opinion, is an extension of training. So it's, yeah. you'll, you'll go through training, you'll learn lots of information. Um, but this site, yeah, that site right there um, will have much more in-depth uh, uh, information. Um you know, much more. So in other words, if you want to do a deep dive into, you know, audit guard, you, you can go and you can watch a video after video after, you know, or, or review documents and, and get, be an expert in it. You really can. Yeah. Um, and what that does is it, of course, builds your confidence and, and gives you the ability to go out and talk to prospective clients about any type of product there. But, but that, that support site is where we, uh, you know, direct lots of folks and, and we help them find what no they're doubt. looking for and, and it works well. And not only that folks, like we're doing today's webinar, um, ever so often, once or twice a month, we do a, a, a business owners or a licensees uh, kind of a coaching session. Uh, sometimes it's on a particular service that we have. Sometimes it's on marketing. And typically those happen um, obviously on a completely different day of the week. But th that's, again, all included here with what you what you get here with ABS, the, the training and support that you get here with ABS. I, I'll say this, Jeff, this, you can see how quickly this hour goes by. Mm -hmm. We've got about five more minutes and I need to do a little wrap up here. So why don't you just kind of take a, take the last few minutes here for, for you and just kind of, you know, share what you want to share with this group of folks that are here on the, on the, the second to the last Wednesday of the, of the year here. And uh, sure. what you might want to encourage them as they kind of think about what they're going to do as their next steps. Yeah, for sure. I, I well, I, I think first of all, just the fact that you're here, you know, spending time to, to learn about the opportunity, I think is is what you need to do. Um, it, it's been a great opportunity for for myself and my wife and my, my family. Um, we're, we're just real simply doing really well with it, and it's it's been a, a exactly what I had in mind uh, with being flexible and and you know being able to do this from wherever you want to. Um, the one thing I would do if I were in your shoes, which I was, you know, not long ago, is is um, I would do your due diligence. You know, uh, I don't know if you if everyone has at this point, Eric, yet a list of of um, people to to talk to, uh, but if you do, or if you get to that point, those people on that list are all licensees. It's just people who are just like me yeah. kind of you know, running their own business and if you talk to eight people you'll find eight different ways that, that they've built their business or that people have built their business so i would encourage everyone to um to do your due diligence um spend some time reaching out to uh the folks on that list there you don't have to contact everyone but but i'd, I'd get a good sampling I, i'd do you know six seven eight if you can uh conversations and and again ask ask as many questions as you can um i'm always happy to to talk with people and uh you know, uh, answer any questions that, that folks have. Um, but that's how you'll get a, a good feel for, for sure. the business. And, and you'll be, you'll be able to get a good feel of, for how people have built their business. Um, I yeah. did it one way, but honestly, I could, I could go pick five other people and they, they, there'd be five different ways that they built their business or five different things that they're focusing on. So, um, so wish you luck, wish you wisdom and, uh, uh, you know, call if you have any questions, I guess. <laughs> so I'm assuming you're on that list. I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. From time to time, I'll get a call from, from folks. And um, yeah. so, that's happy so to folks, I mean, not only have you been able to spend the afternoon with Jeff here, uh, if you want to get a chance to visit with him, I'm sure he'll arrange some time to do that. Well, Jeff, I want to first of all, tell you, thank you for taking your afternoon. I know that you're busy, obviously with 14 clients and everything else is going on. I'm sure you're getting ready for the holidays here. And, uh, but I appreciate your time. We, we are, we're going to do this again. Um, I'm, Hopefully after the first of the year, maybe in the first quarter, I may have you back and just kind of give us some more wisdom and uh, interview you again. So I, I appreciate your time, Jeff. Thank you okay. so very much. You're welcome. Take care. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Yep. You All right. So, folks, I'm going to just kind of wrap up here with you this afternoon. There are some questions here that I do want to go over uh, with everybody. And uh, before I do that, I know that some people might have to jump off real quickly, uh, but I want to make sure everybody understands that we do have a... 30 day money back guarantee that which means during your training remember we talked a little bit about your training is that you're going to have some time to go through your training you may have anywhere from eight maybe nine to ten days to get through your training and you're still going to have time to still make a decision whether this is the business you want to stay in so the 
ABS offers everybody a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you feel like this is the right business for you, stick with it. If you feel like it's not going to work for you, simply ask for your money back. And we, as Patrick, we used to say, we'll just simply part as friends. So that's that's our guarantee there for you. So I'm going to put this up here real quickly. So Shiraz, you were asking a question. How much uh, can one expect as income on a monthly basis uh, as 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 a, if I, you're for, if you were, I guess, a full-time employee of your own business, uh, I would tell you that kind of based upon some of the numbers that we were kind of hearing from Jeff that, you know, with three or four clients, um, with two clients, he was able to, to reimburse himself back. That's that return on investment. So you can see right then and there, that's a pretty good chunk of change. Uh, but I would expect for you, you could probably in your first year with one client, we kind of, I kind of like to gauge it. It's a pretty big window, but it's it's anywhere from forty five thousand to about sixty five thousand dollars a year with one client, uh, and that's working basically again a couple hours a day. So you're almost thinking you know you're making anywhere from one hundred fifty to one hundred eighty dollars an hour with just one client. If when you kind of start to look at it and how many claims that you're processing and all that, so that's that's a great way to kind of look at it. We have gone over, and I may try, try to do that next week, just to kind of go over the numbers, really kind of how much money you can expect to make maybe within your first year. So who knows? That might be the topic I'm, I might end up doing next week. So that would be fine. Victoria, it looks like uh, you and a few other folks here. Um, have some questions you're asking first. Do you have a small business loan? Why don't you get back with the your business coach that you're working here? Uh, we don't have specific loans here that we do, but we have resources for that. So, Victoria, why don't you get with that? Uh, same thing about your EIN, about building all of that credit, and should you get state certifications? Again, a lot of this your business coach can help answer for you. Now, we did briefly talk real quickly at the beginning, Victoria. I don't know when you got in, but someone else asked if they felt like they needed to go to a medical billing class or a a uh, coding class or anything like that to kind of get certified in it. And there's really not. Uh, Jeff, as you heard, is probably, he's part of our service, our support team here with T Warren and, and his group there. So you don't necessarily need to have that. It's not a hurt for you to have it, but I wouldn't worry about it too terribly much. And uh, what specific software? The only software you're going to need is what we have for you here. So the software that uh, comes with it. And yes, all the training uh, classes are virtual. Uh, so, it, but the, we say virtual. It's not. It, it's it's a one on one. It's just like what we're doing right now. You're going to have a live instructor to kind of help you. You just don't have to go anywhere. So that's that's one great thing that you can uh, make sure that you understand. All right. So, uh, again, Victoria, you're asking what kind of documents we I'm going to share with you. We have a um, uh, an agreement that I'm going to share with you here. Just great. Uh, Ryan says, great for another webinar. And Shiraj is asking for Jeff's number, please. Uh, the way that you get Jeff's number is again to get back to your business coach. Uh, I don't hand out his number, but if you'll get back with your business coach, you'll get, you can arrange some time to spend with Jeff and ask him for some questions. So, what are your next steps after today's webinar? Uh, I'm going to encourage you to again get back with your business coach here at American Business Systems and ask them for this research guide. This research guide will help answer a lot more questions that we can cover on a webinar. So go grab that and kind of go through that. We we have done every Wednesday of 2023. We haven't missed it. Not one web or not one Wednesday have we missed a webinar. So almost we can say after this one's done, we have done 51 webinars this year. We have covered a ton of information, uh, whether it's interviews with Dr. Vicki Rackner, whether it's interviews with our support team, whether it's just one-on-one -on -one webinars with me. Folks, we have covered just about every subject that you can imagine, everything from training to how much you can make to how to get your first client to how to get your marketing going and how to get put all the pieces together. 51 webinars, folks. This is amazing that we are still doing this. Uh, and uh, we we had, obviously we enjoyed doing what we do here at these webinars. So go check those out. Uh, some of the last ones that we've done here in the last, just go pull the last 
I don't know, four or five of them, and you're going to get a ton of information. Jeff said about the ABS licensees references. Uh, so call and get with your business coach here. They've got that resource list there to, to hand out those numbers there. Then we didn't talk about this at all today, but if you haven't had a chance, call and, and set up a private one-on-one -on -one, uh, with your your business coach to do a live demonstration. Now, someone just said my video froze, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm still here. So if everybody just give me a thumbs up, then we're good to go. But if you haven't done a live demonstration of the iClaim EMRX software, folks, you're just selling yourself short because you don't, it's it's a, it's imperative. You just go do it. Just get with your business coach and, and, and get that done. You're going to get to see how the software works and how we're going to help you build and get that first client. We're here to help you with that. Someone asked about documentation. Here's the documentation. It's a purchase agreement. It's about five pages long now, so you can go back and get that and grab a hold of that. And so you've got that. Then lastly is just getting the funding together. Uh, now, I'll tell you again, at least you've got another week or so to get in at the regular price of $28,990. I, like I mentioned, I heard it was supposed to go up after the first of the year. At least it's not here yet, so you're still good to go. So, but that would just be just to get your training. We could get your start. You can get you probably get training. Probably maybe not next week. Obviously, with the holiday, the Christmas holiday there, maybe at, right after the first of the year, you can get all that taken care of. So, I would pray calendar just right after the first of the year. So if you don't know who you're supposed to be working with here at American Business Systems, call us at 866-565-8413. Email us at info at AB Systems. Obviously, we're going to answer everything that we get here. So feel free to reach out to us. So I would love to be able to point you in that right direction. Uh, and then let's do next week. I'll kind of do a wrap up. What I'll probably do is a kind of a showing of what we've covered in 2023. I like to kind of do an end of the year wrap up of going, hey, here's this webinar that we did. Here's the link to it. Why don't you go watch it? It'll give you a lot of information to kind of follow up with and give you a lot of information. I'll even include some of the stuff that uh, for, the, for, for those of you who really want to know really kind of how much you can make out of that first client. I'm going to go through those numbers, but a lot of it is kind of be a review and, and really just kind of end the year great. So, Folks, again, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, I'm seeing if there's any last minute questions here. Shiraz says, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sherry says, I'm a certified medical instructor and happy to, if anyone is uncertified that would like to ask certification questions. So, Sheree, why don't you get with the business coach that you're working with here? Give them your information. And obviously, yeah, if there's something that we can partner with you on, that we'd love to be able to do that. So, I appreciate you doing that. Again, folks, let me just share with you. We're at the end of the year, 2023, and you know what? I'm going to tell everybody, it's been a great year uh, to be with a lot of you on these webinars. I wish you and your, your family the best of holidays, a wonderful, happy new year. Uh, obviously, we're going to be here one more week next week. We're lo looking forward to doing that. But from my family to your family, from the Patrick Phillips and Adam family, they wish you, all, all of you, a wonderful holidays. Y'all have a great evening, and uh, we'll see you next week, and we'll get to celebrate and end the year together. We'll see you next Wednesday. Y'all have a great one. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Mm -hmm.